know this will sound crazy, but I actually am unable to feel pain. This might sound like an amazing trait, but it can be really dangerous. Let me tell you my story. When I was a little kid, I didn't know that I was different from other children my age. I would watch TV shows and movies and get so confused whenever I saw someone getting hurt. They would cry in pain or sob or something, and I didn't understand what was happening to them. You see, I was born with a rare condition that basically eradicated all the receptors in my brain. The doctors aren't sure if I was born without them or if they were destroyed, but back then I didn't know any of that. I just thought people were weird. I've never experienced pain, and so I can't even relate to it. The very idea of something hurting is foreign to me. Imagine growing up not knowing what pain feels like, or even understanding how it works. I remember a kid falling down in class one day and bumping his head against the desk. He cried and was sent to the nurse's office. I was so confused and everyone looked so worried. Why did the kid sob like that? Why was he holding his head and saying it ached? I had bumped my head plenty of times, and I had felt, well, nothing at all. I wanted to ask the teacher about it, but then I suddenly realized, what if I was the one that was weird? What if there was something wrong with me and my classmates made fun of me? So I decided to remain silent and pretend I was worried too. It wasn't too hard because I was worried, but not about the kid's pain. I was worried someone would realize I was different, but no one even looked at me. I decided it was best to just stay quiet about it and move on with my life. Surely I would also feel that thing called pain one day. If everyone suffered it, I was going to as well one day, right? Well, no, I wouldn't, and I would discover it in a rather dramatic fashion. My parents had no idea I was unique. They just thought I was a really resilient kid. Mom was so proud that I was so brave when I had my shots or when I scraped my knees. She would tell other mothers how I wouldn't even flinch when the nurse came close to me with a big needle. Little did she know that I wasn't afraid because I had no idea what pain actually was. If something couldn't hurt me, why would I be worried about it? And so my mom and dad didn't notice my condition for the first few years of my life. It wasn't until I had my first big accident that everything changed. It all happened so fast. No one was to blame for the accident, but it was still really scary, or so my parents tell me. The truth is, I wasn't afraid at all. I was playing at the playground after lunch one day. Mom had insisted we go to the park so I wouldn't spend all day long glued to the TV. I was really excited since that meant I'd be able to run around and be silly. We had been in the playground for a while when I decided to go for the swings. I loved them. It was so much fun to go as high as I could, it felt like I was flying. I remember mom warned me not to go so high, but I didn't listen. I just chuckled and tried to jump forward. I was planning on landing on my feet neatly, but I messed up. Instead, I landed on my right arm and heard my mom scream a few feet away from me. She later told me I hit the ground really hard, but I didn't feel a thing. I didn't even bat an eye, didn't cry for help, didn't get scared. Mom and dad saw everything, and they were freaking out. It was clearly hurt, but I didn't react at all. They asked me if I was okay, and I replied that I was fine, and if I could go back to play. They were really worried because they saw my arm looked like it was bent the wrong way. Still, I didn't complain or anything. They decided to take me to the ER just in case. You know how sometimes the adrenaline keeps people from feeling pain and then it hits them all at once? Well, that's what my parents figured was happening to me. When a doctor finally got to us, he checked me out and immediately did an x-ray on me. He didn't look too happy, and this concerned my parents. Why was the doctor frowning if I looked like it didn't hurt at all? Surely it couldn't be that bad. It turned out I had a very badly fractured arm. The doctor was in shock that I wasn't complaining or screaming since it was supposed to be a really painful injury. I actually had to undergo surgery to help my arm heal properly. It was that bad. The nurses asked me as I woke up from the anesthesia if something hurt. I just replied that it didn't. The doctor wanted to see if I could really go without painkillers after the surgery. I didn't even feel the difference. The whole staff was fascinated by my case. I didn't take any pain medication during my stay there and felt perfectly okay. In fact, my mom had to threaten to ground me just to keep me in bed. 
It was important that I lay still for a few days to recover. The problem was I felt just fine and was bored out of my mind. My parents didn't know what to make of it and decided to take me to a specialist. After all, I was supposed to feel pain. What could possibly be wrong with me? It took the doctors several tests to finally figure out what was happening. An MRI image showed a lack of transmitters in my brain that would usually decode pain. Though I technically should be able to feel it, my brain was unable to process and react to it. The doctor said it was an incredibly rare condition and that there were very few documented cases in the world. I was very unique and honestly, I thought it was really cool. My parents were admittedly very worried, but to me, it was so awesome. With this newfound knowledge, I became incredibly reckless. I was known in the neighborhood as the daredevil kid on the street, and it only got worse as I grew up. I would get into all kinds of problems and always be looking for my next adrenaline fix. I would jump off really high things and do all kinds of dangerous stunts. Teens in my school were always challenging me to try new and weird stuff, and I always took them up on it. I won every single bet and made good money off it. My mom would always check how I was whenever I got home, and she begged me to be more careful. I loved my mother to bits, but I had grown too used to being a daredevil to stop. I loved testing my limits. Plus, honestly, I kind of wanted to discover if anything would actually make me feel pain at all. The doctors said it was impossible, but I like experimenting with things for myself. I'll be honest and say I've had a lot of broken limbs over the years, plus many more broken noses and even fingers. I'm okay with that. I just go to the hospital and they patch me up. My mom freaks out every single time. I apologize, but we both know I'll do it all over again soon. Sometimes I don't even realize I have a fracture until someone lets me know I'm walking kind of weird. A lot of my friends got jealous of me over the years, but they still love seeing me perform cool tricks for them. Now, as fun as this all sounds, there is a big problem here. I have no way of knowing if I get hurt or not. It's kind of a mess, especially for someone so reckless as I am. Doing something as simple as running is dangerous because I can't tell if I stepped on something sharp or if I bent my knee or something like that. Each morning when I wake up, I have to check to see if I didn't scratch my body or something. I also have to be really careful when I'm cooking because if I ever burn or cut myself, I won't feel it at all. Sure, I don't suffer at all, but my body still gets hurt. I could get a really bad burn and have to be hospitalized, all because I'm completely immune to pain. Imagine needing to be super careful about anything you do, and checking yourself in the mirror every few hours. It gets so boring, and I'm not exactly the most patient guy in the world. Sometimes I forget and then suffer the consequences. For instance, I once got a really bad infection and since I didn't realize anything was wrong, I ended up in the hospital for an entire week. The doctors pumped so many antibiotics into me and I didn't feel a thing. Another time, I suddenly began feeling super sick. Nothing hurt, of course, but I was rushing to the toilet every five minutes. I couldn't retain any liquids and mom got really worried. The doctor at the ER at first didn't pay me much attention. He said that most symptoms pointed toward me having appendicitis, but since I wasn't in pain, it was impossible. When my mom explained my condition, he got really worried. They examined me, and apparently my appendix was about to burst. I could have been a goner, and all because I didn't feel a thing. If my mom hadn't been so quick in taking me to see a doctor, it would have been a really big mess. I'm grateful my mother is so protective and helps me constantly but she can be a bit overwhelming from time to time. From the moment she discovered my condition, she began to act so weirdly. She wanted me to have someone with me at all times, but I refused. I want to grow to be a normal person and have a happy life, even if I can't feel pain. Ever since then, I've tried to be more careful, but honestly, it's still kind of hard. I have a girlfriend now, and she is a lifesaver. She reminds me to check my body for cuts and scrapes and also keeps me from doing foolish stuff. I've also quit doing daredevil stunts, at least for now. I need to learn to listen to my body even if I don't feel any pain. After all, I want to live to be old and maybe even marry the girl I'm dating. She is amazing and shares my sense of adventure. With her by my side though, I get to enjoy the excitement without actually getting hurt. Thanks for watching. What would you do if you couldn't feel any pain? Let us know in the comments. Please don't forget.